Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swindon Town Swiddly Poopers, and I'm coming to you from the distant past. Specifically, it is currently almost three weeks ago. Um, I am preparing to have a baby. I'm probably not going to have it, but Sarah is, and I'm going to I'm going to try to be there, you know, just just to be nice. Oh, look who's on the field, by the way, Robbie Rogers. Is he there? I thought I thought I just saw him. Maybe he's a sub. I don't know, but he's the. Uh, one of the very few uh, openly gay football players and very unfortunately felt that he had to retire after coming out, which was super d depressing, but um, hopefully he'll come back. I think it, there's a chance he might sign with the Portland Timbers, I read. Um, all right, so we're going to take on Stevenage. Stevenage? Whatever, we're going to just, we're going to, they're going to, it's the age of Steven versus the Swin and Town Swoodley Poopers. Um, and so I'm coming to you from the distant past, and today I'm going to use my crystal ball to predict what the present looks like. Um, your present, which is May 27th. You're in May 27th, apparently, and I'm here. I'm in May 3rd. So I have no idea what's going to happen, but you're just going to have to tell me how I did. Um, I'm going to predict how some movies did, and then also how, um, if there were any surprises in the world of books in the last few months. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's the game. Okay. First prediction, I predict that this week, or last week, whenever, the number one best-selling uh, book on the young adult list, uh, the New York Times bestseller best list, is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. A great book, by the way. Incredibly engrossing. Just so, I mean, it's a little bit, it reminds me a little bit of El Campuncino because it is intense. Um, that's an old school Swoodoo Pooper joke. Uh, I, and I, I predict that that has overtaken The Fault in Our Stars, which, which if I'm going to make a prediction, I mean, I'm hoping that it's only switched, uh, dropped to two, but I, I can easily see it at like three or four in the summertime. So, uh, but hopefully it's just, if it's still on the list, I'm happy. Anything, I'm happy. I'm happy anywhere on that list. It's, it's always nice to be there. So that is my, that's my first prediction. Um, secondly, some popular movies that have come out in the last three weeks include Iron Man 3, which I'm going to predict was terrible. Um, however, I'm also I'm going to further predict that I liked it, even though it wasn't good. Why don't you just... Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's where I would have passed. Not to Merrick Merrick. Um, I don't know how to do that. Ball John Green just elbowed a guy in the back of the neck. It's beautiful. We don't always play dirty, but when we do, we play really dirty. Um, I'm going to predict that it was bad, but that I enjoyed it. And that when I was walking out of the movie theater, my wife said to me, can you believe that? And I said, right? Um, but she meant, can you believe how bad that was? And I meant, can you believe that my capacity for enjoyment uh, is, can sink so low? Um, that's my first prediction. Oh, what other movies are coming out? Oh, don't, what are you pointing at me? That's our ball. One size fits all is up there. I see him. I went deep for him. Oh. All right, what other, what other movies are coming out? Gatsby. All right. This is a very bold prediction, Meredith. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the God's honest truth. Um, I thought until very recently that when everybody on Tumblr was so breathlessly enthusiastic about the Gatsby trailers that they were being ironic and that I, I actually had to ask my delightful 22-year-old assistant, Rosiana Hals Rojas, my secret sister Rosiana, who's also my assistant, I had to ask her if everyone on Tumblr was being ironic or if they were serious. And she was like, I'm pretty sure they're serious. And I was like, really? Because um, I did not, okay, so I'm probably losing all, of, there's probably four people left watching this now. So that's good. Meredith is looking at me like I just killed a man. Um, I did not like Romeo plus Juliet, the uh, Claire Danes, Leonardo DiCaprio. Ooh, I mean. <laughs> Meredith just said it's karma. Um, I did not like uh, the, the uh, Claire Danes, Romeo uh, plus Juliet adaptation. Um, I, I, I liked Moulin Rouge a lot. Um, but I'm going to guess that I'm not going to like Gatsby and that indeed it will be more similar to, um, to the Romeo plus Juliet model of, of adaptation than, um, oh, off the post, than to the, uh, the Moulin Rouge school of adaptation. 
Here's what I think I'm not going to like about the movie that I haven't seen. Um, boy, if someone were reviewing my book like this, I would be furious. Buzz Lerman, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Um, uh, what I think... Oh! Bostock! Uh, do we have a song about him? I don't think I do. We'll write one. Um, yeah, Meredith's going to just get on that. What a fantastic goal! You know, that guy's, that guy's been hungry lately. I've been feeling him. Um, yes. Um, so, right. So, uh, here's what I think I'm not going to like about the Gatsby movie. I think that it is not going to be a very faithful adaptation, but I think all the ways in which it isn't faithful are, are going to be like, or all the ways in which it attempts to be faithful are going to be like super obvious. The, you know, the yellow dress, the green light, all those sort of like really straightforward color metaphors which are important in the novel and I think like it's an important like kind of critical reading tool to be under to understand like what's what's going on there but it's not at all the center of the book and it's not what makes the book interesting or good oh my god oh my god ball John Green ball mm. probably should have passed to your husband but you know what when you've got an opportunity like that you just go for it oh a diving header for nothing then Merrick Merrick is a tiny little man wins a header because he's full of heroism. Um, I think it's just going to be sort of like way over the top uh, and, um, and you know, not, yeah, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I love it, but I think I'm going to not like it. That's my prediction is that I'm not, I'm going to be disappointed. Um, okay, what's next? Oh, the new Star Trek movie. So, like, Star Trek fans have this whole, like, odd-even theory that, like, the odd-numbered ones are bad and the even-numbered ones are good, or the vice versa. I can never remember. Anyway, the last one was definitely good. That was the one, that was the first Spock. Meredith, you didn't see the last Star Trek movie? It has hand, handsome young James Kirk in it? Mm, it's like alternate, it's, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit cheaty to go all alternate universes, time travel crap on it. But, like, whatever. It, it, it was a solution that, that created a new cast of Star Trek with Spock and all the original characters, but, you know, not played by 80-year-old men, and it was very enjoyable. Very, if you, it, it, pure, pure enjoyment. Um, that said, like, from what we talked about before with the, uh, before being, being, I guess, two weeks ago, um, your time is different than my time, friends, um, about uh, women characters in movies. I don't think that it's going to pass the Bechdel test. Neither, by the way, um, I suspect, is Gatsby. Um, but, uh, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a, a, a furious romp through space with faster than light travel, um, which is completely impossible. Oh, off the post! All right, it's one-one. We do have to win this game. In addition to, in addition to predicting the future, which is the, you know the real challenge. People say, John, is it hard being a semi-professional FIFA player? Of course it is. I mean, you know, it's it, it's one of the hardest jobs I have, but it, it's also the most rewarding. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten letters from people who say, you know, um, I don't really like your books. I don't, I don't watch Metal Floss or Crash Course or, or Vlog Brothers, but the Swoodly Poopers have just changed my life. Um, I hear that all the time, you know? It's just, it's so great. What? Oh, he's offside, right? He was offside? What? What? What did Fitzhall get a card for? For being handsome? You know, one size fits all. I feel, I mean, that, that just, that doesn't seem fair at all. I, I, I liked everything that he did there. I thought, I thought he was behaving in a manner completely becoming of a gentleman. Um, right, so anyway, um, I, I do love, oh, from nothing, oh, punch your opponent in the face, John Green. He's big, he's tough, he has a brilliant puff, other John Green, other John Green, what a Thundering left-footed shot. Um, all right, now we're cooking with gas. Eat that, Age of Steven. Eat it. Uh, is there anything else coming out? Hangover Part 3. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb because I just saw a preview of it and say that it is going to be the worst of the series. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but that, 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 uh, you don't want to base your review on a preview, but my God, that did not look promising. Um... It was just, it was a lot of like, remember that joke? Here's that joke for a third time. Um, which is not, not at all what I look for in a comedy. Um, I loved, I thought the first Hangover movie, again, doesn't pass the Bechdel test, but I thought it was just delicious comedy. Um, 
Yeah, so. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, disappointment. Palpable. Yeah, that's just... Fitz Hall is in there, but he's just running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Doesn't know what's best for him. That's right. There you go, Fitzy. Go to the corner. Get an assist at least. Mm, no! That was probably fair. It's trying too hard to score with one guy. Um, yeah, so the hangover part three is coming out. Anything else? Books! There are some books coming out. So I can make some book predictions. Oh, Dan Brown's book is coming out. What's it called? Like, uh, shh, it's called, like, Firebomb. What's it called? It's called Inferno. Um, the, they, that's the guy who wrote uh, the, um, mm, the Da Vinci Code, which was, like, the best-selling novel of the last, like, 50 years or something until Fifty Shades of Grey became the best-selling novel of the last 50 years because publishing is increasingly reliant upon massive blockbusters. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think that that book is going to do that well. So I think it comes out, like, mid-May, so it will... I, I think it's I think it's second week sales will be under a hundred thousand. Oh, we need to make some substitutions. Robbie Rogers is coming on. That's nice to see. Um, one of my favorite players. Oh yeah, we're exhausted. Look at Bostock. He scored, and he suffers. He suffers. I'm bringing on James Collins in his place. We're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go. Oh, and then Lionel Richie didn't start. That seems like an injustice. And then I'm going to do something unusual, a little unusual, which is that I'm going to bring on, um, oh, I don't have, I don't have him, I don't have Leroy Williamson. Well, then I'm going to bring on Andy Rooney and put him in central midfield. He's an underrated, you know, he's a striker, he doesn't like playing back there, but he'll do it for the team. He'll suffer any indignity for the team, that's what I love about Andy Rooney. He's a beautiful, beautiful ginger, one of the best gingers we've ever had on our club. And that is an extremely high compliment. All right. Oh, almost made it out of the back, but then we didn't. Life is full of disappointments. Uh, I don't think, I actually don't, oh no! These guys, it's like there's a force field around the goal. I don't think, um, I don't think the new Da Vinci Code uh, book, which of course is not about the Da Vinci Code, is gonna do that well. Um, I just don't, maybe I'm wrong, but the last one didn't do that great. Um, I think that, uh, I think people have less, less patience for, um, uh, for that stuff than they used to. I mean, I would be disappointed if I were you as well. Um, and uh, lastly, the DSM is coming out, the new uh, psychology manual. I think that's out today. Prediction. I don't know anything about psychology. Thanks for watching. Best wishes. Look at that beautiful ginger.